Holocaust and Tree of Life mass shooting survivor Judah Samet has died at 84 years old. He barely escaped the gunfire at the synagogue back in 2018, arriving late for the service. Now, the Tree of Life Synagogue was a major part of Judah Samet's life. In 2018, he told our John Shumway he was at the Tree of Life practically every day. That included the day of the horrific shooting. Now, we pulled a portion of that story where he describes what he heard and saw as he arrived in the parking lot. And then he stopped, and the police shot about three times. I don't know how. A, uh, none of the bullets grazed my, my car. I saw the smoke coming out of his gun, you know, as he was shooting. And then he disappeared. This is Summit's second story of survival. He spends many of his days making sure people don't forget what families like his went through in the Holocaust. They asked people to get on the train. My mother grabbed the, the four of us, her husband, my grandparents, her brother. We got on the train. We know it's a death train. So we were, they were looking for a place to finish us, and we were going around for weeks. It was near the end of the war, and suddenly the train was abandoned by the Germans, and an American tank arrived. And when the hatch opened... Yeah, you know, it was a Jewish fellow from Brooklyn. Wow, what an incredible story. Now, Sam made his way to Pittsburgh and became a business owner. And as a Holocaust survivor, he believed that was part of why he survived, to continue to tell that story. Judah Samet also wanted to tell the story of what he witnessed at the Tree of Life in 2018. He was 84 years old.